What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here and today we are going to go through my Bikini Olympia predictions. I enjoy doing this video for you guys every year. I've done it for the past three years now and I'm usually pretty spot on. I'm usually pretty close. So we're going to go through that as we've got the Olympia coming up in two weeks actually. It's going to be on September uh, 14th and 15th. Jason and I will be at the Olympia this year with MTS Nutrition and Pervitum. We're gonna be sampling outright bars, so if you guys are going, make sure to comment below and let me know and stop by and say hi to me. Before we get into the Bikini Olympia predictions, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, and if you want, be sure to also ring my ding -ling if you wanna be alerted every time I post a new video. So this year's not only exciting because I'm gonna be there, but it's gonna be a very interesting year because Ashley Kaltwatzer is back in the game this year. If you guys don't already know, she is the only one who's ever won the Olympia three times. No one else has ever done that. And if for, just to backtrack, I like to just recap real quick in terms of your IFBB pro status, bikinis, uh, bikini girls, not everyone can go to the Olympia stage. You have to earn your place on that Olympia stage. It's extremely prestigious. It's extremely tough to do. Pros can spend all year. It's basically based on a point system. So your pros can spend all year trying to rack up and get as many points as possible to meet that Olympia qualification. So you wanna get as many points as possible or what you need to do is place um, first in your pro show or I believe the top five from the prior Olympia year does get, um, I don't know if they get automatic into the Olympia, but there are certain qualifications there. So it's very, very prestigious to get to that Olympia stage. It is an international show. You are competing against the best of the best. So there's a little background there in case you weren't familiar. Um, but so like I said, this year is very, very different because Ashley's back in the game and Ashley started up her pro season this year and she hit it hard. So I just want to talk about her for a minute because she, she really does stand out. And she came back this year. She took some time off. Um, the last time she did the Olympia was in 2017. And I do have some notes here, you guys. Um, actually, excuse me, the last time Ashley did the Olympia was 2016. She took 2017 off. When she competed in 2016 at the Olympia, she actually placed fourth. That was the year that Courtney King took first overall. And then Ashley took some time off. And now since she came back this year, she has been killing it. She has been getting first in every show. And her package is ridiculous in my opinion like she just has that natural symmetry for a bikini competitor um, and she's just probably the leanest I've ever seen her look for stage um, her glutes and her hamstrings are they're just ridiculous it's kind of hard to it literally looks like someone chiseled her so she's coming back this year and competing so that to me it's it kind of makes it an interesting year so I want to mention some of the people that I think stand out for top placings who are who are gonna be there there. Um, Narman uh, has a, had a great competition season and she's also placed top five last year at the Bikini Olympia. You've got Stacey McLeod, I think she placed top 10 in the Olympia last year. India Paulino came back, she's had a great year. She, you know, took like not even a year, basically a year off to have her baby and then she got right back in it. Her body is incredible. You'd have no idea that India had a baby. I mean, she just that body bounced right back real tight and she's done very well with the shows that she's competed in so far. So India, I foresee being in top 10. You've got Camille Perriot. She has competed and done very well. Um, her her muscle mass is incredible. Um, and again, she's she's done very well with her shows this year. You've got Jennifer Ronziti. Jennifer's done incredibly well. Jennifer placed second last year at the Olympia. Um, she also placed in 2016 Olympia as well. She placed fifth. So she's always in the top five. Um, you've got Casey Samsell. She looks excellent. She'll probably be up there as well. Then you've got Angelica. Angelica came in last year and placed first at the Olympia. Courtney King didn't end up competing. Angelica came in there and took Bikini Olympia. And I think a lot of people are really happy to see her take the win on that. Um, Angelica just 
Hands down, I think a lot of us bikini competitors can agree, she's got a body we aspire to achieve as a bikini competitor. She has just this incredible physique. And it's incredible because she's lean as fuck, which you need to be for Olympia stage, but she doesn't take it to a place where she looks too lean or emaciated. She just has this incredible physique, symmetry, delts, glutes, hams. I love the way she poses. Um, I love the purple suit that she usually wears. I just think she brings the perfect package. And she's also placed top five in 2016 as well. She got second in 2016, first in 2017. So to me, it's kind of like battle between Angelica and Ashley Kotwatzer for first this year. And who's gonna take it? What are the judges going to want to see for first place for their bikini Olympia? Is it gonna be Ashley Kotwatzer who's bringing back a leaner than ever package? striations all over the place or is it going to be angelica who who really also has a lean package it's really hard i think to determine who's going to get first between the two of them but i think it's definitely going to be one of the two of them uh, for first place i believe it's about 34 people that qualified for olympia but obviously not everyone definitely goes to the Olympia. The whole list is prestigious, so just because I don't mention anyone's names doesn't mean they shouldn't be on that list, but a couple other people to mention are uh, Romina Bezwaldo. She's not someone I'm super familiar with and didn't even know about her when I did my prediction video last year, and she ended up placing third, and she is on the list for this year, so the fact that she was in that top five, she very easily could be in that top five again this year. And you've also got Janet Leig, who's one of my favorites. She placed second place in 2015, but she did not make the top five the past two years. I still think she has an incredible physique that's definitely top five worthy. But it just gets so hard when you are at this level from a judge's perspective of what is gonna get you that top five. It's really, really hard to choose. All right, I'm just gonna give you guys my top five prediction for Bikini Olympia. I'm going to say that I I predict India will be maybe fifth place. I think she's gonna make the top five. I'm gonna give four to Narman. Third place, I'm gonna give to Jennifer Ronziti. I'm gonna give second to Angelica because I really think that Ashley Kaltwatzer is gonna take her first place Bikini Olympia win back. Even though Angelica won it last year, and Angelica beat her out in 2016 in that top five, I think Ashley is just bringing like this physique that you're just like no one's gonna beat. if she brings the physique she's been bringing to her past couple of pro shows I just don't think anyone's gonna touch that I think that is going to be our first place winner for the year um, I'm sure there's people I missed on this list so as always I enjoy you guys to give me your predictions below for Bikini Olympia who you want to see and why what you think about Ashley versus Angelica, who's gonna take the win this year? And also make sure to comment below if you are gonna be at the Olympia, cause I do wanna meet you. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys get to watch the Olympia and hopefully my predictions are right. I'll see you guys in the next video.